What I have here today is a uh, the Emperor Grandfather Clock Moment. You usually hear it chiming in the background. Uh, today I'm going to swap it out for a better one. Not a better one. Well, the equivalent one. Uh, you know, like 10, 15 years ago, uh, either the quarter hour, quarter hour or hour chimes stopped working. And I looked at the manual and it said something about oiling it, so... Uh, yeah, I wasn't going to do that, but I put oil on the, all the spots in the back here where I thought oil would go, because I didn't know anything about clocks back then. And uh, the chimes start working back. It's working again. So I figured uh, one of these days I'll have to take this apart and clean and oil it. And I did that last year because I made the video showing the thing, you know, chiming away there without the dial. That was after I cleaned the oil and put it that back together. But, you know, since I have little or no patience, when I was putting this back together, I uh, damaged a couple of things. And you really can't see, but I'll show you when I take it apart. And uh, I managed to get an, an equivalent movement uh, listed. Well, first I was going to buy a piece, and then I see I can get two movements for $15, so I did that. And then a couple weeks later, another movement came on that was exactly the same as this one for like 25 bucks or something so I bought that and they said that was clean and oil but they couldn't keep it running I figure I'm gonna make it I'm gonna keep it running I'm gonna figure out how to keep it running so what I'm gonna do now is uh, take this out swap out the movement and I guess uh, underneath here there's a couple of uh, you see those two screw things one there and one the other side you have to loosen those up I'm going to do it like this because I don't want to hold it. And the things rotate. Whoops. I guess I'm going to hold on to this. You see the, uh, the metal bars rotate. So you rotate them in such a way that the uh, movement comes out. I mean, you can unscrew it all the way. But I'm uh, rotating, so I'm going to grab this. Uh, let's see if I did this right. Because I did this last year and I don't remember what I did. Uh, maybe it's best if I unscrewed those all the way out then. Let's do that. Life screw around. Drop them all out. That way nothing's hanging up in my way. Okay, got those pieces out. Now I think I can just slide this out. Yeah, that did it. Oh, slide it out. Ah, oh, my hand is in the way. And then you have to take the chains out. Then I got the wooden frame. Uh, I'm putting it behind me. And there's the clock. Here's the clock. Oh yeah, one of these uh, pivots I bent on these uh, thing that control the speed for the ch chimes. I bent that and I bent something else. The uh, I think it was the escape wheel. I bent the pivot on that. Because uh, this thing just... Uh, you want to take one of these things apart and put it back together. You're, you're asking for problems. Because uh, I take the hands off. Because you got two plates and you got all those wheels got to line up there when you put the two plates on and uh, they don't cooperate at all. And that's where I lost it. And uh, I paid the price. I lost my patience and I paid the price. These are my, uh, my hand pullers that I use on the submarine clock. That sucker's on tight. And uh, now I can take the dial off. Get this chain crap out of the way. Uh, the dial is held on with pins. Uh, you can see one right over here. There's four of them. Four pins. We have to pull them out. I'm going to rest this down. 
Uh, I got my pliers. In fact, I lost one of the pins when I took it apart last year. That one I lost. I had to make a new pin. And of course they're magnetic and they stick to my tweezer, my plier. Let's see, let's see. The other pin is over here. Uh, I don't know if I can move the clock. Yeah, the other pin is down here. That's number two. I think they're tapered. Tapered pins. And the third one is over here. Freaking hammers are in the way. You know. Oh, third pin. And the fourth one is on the other side. Four pins. So now, theoretically, the dial will come off. There you go. Dial off. Oh, you can see the back of it. With the moon, this is the moon option. And see the gears for the moon option. Uh, I'm going to put this aside someplace so I don't knock it over. Okay, that's out of the way. So, yes, there's your movement. Uh, and like I said, I bent a couple things. Uh, what do I have to do then? Oh! Th that's about it. Okay, you see you got two brass plates and you got all those gears in there. You gotta line up all those gears. And then after you've done that, just when you thought you got through the worst of it, you have to do all the timing. The timing for the uh, quarter hour chimes and the hour chimes and yeah, because you had to take these off to clean it right and put them back on. They got set screws and that's why I made those videos of it striking because I wanted to see how everything was working after I figured it out. It took me like uh, 15 minutes, a half hour, just watching the thing run to figure out how to set these two cams. Pain in the ass. And then there's a cam underneath here. Besides this cam, this cam is tells you how many hours. But there's a cam underneath there that you really can't see that uh, does the actual striking or tells it when to strike the quarter hours and the full hour one. So it's a pain in the ass. So I have to take this part again because I got, uh, like I said, other movements. I got two other movements. And I got a movement here. I'm going to take some parts off of this one probably. And then I got another movement. So I thought I would use this movement. And another movement thought I would use this movement but uh, when I saw that third one that was had the same text on it these are the two movements I got for $15 I'm going to use them for parts and then this is the movement I'm going to use has the same text ah oh, damn it I thought I put the chains on I didn't put the chains all the way on that stinks Crap. Uh, I can't put them on. I'm going to put the dial on and put the chains on later because I already started this video. So this is the movement uh, I got that they said uh, ran but they couldn't keep it running. So I you know, put some more oil on it and scraped some crud off of it and uh, let's see if I can get it to rock and roll as they say. Uh, let's see. Oh, hopefully the dial matches. It's got the same text. Uh, let me get this one. Well, I'll leave that one there for now. Uh, dial. Now I have to get this one out of the way. Oh, God. So, well, I guess you can see most of it. Hmm, maybe I should adjust this. Don't go anywhere. 
Maybe that's better. Okay, so you know, I put some oil on it. Now I'm gonna attach it. Attach it, and I gotta transfer some parts over from the uh, old movement. Uh, yeah, I, when I got this, I uh, put a load on the uh, on the, the movement parts that uh, you know for chiming and time and everything else, and they seem to function. And with the holes aren't lining up. I thought they should because it's the same text. It's probably the gear on the moon dial that's not lining up. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, there you go. So it was the uh, moon dial gearing that the uh, teeth weren't lined up, so now they're lined up. So now I can put the pins back in, and I'll have to do the chains. These are tapered pins, so I should use a hammer, but I don't got one. I don't have a hammer. I'll get a hammer later. Uh, second taper pin. Well, it's not going in too far, is it? I wonder why. Maybe it goes on the other side. I don't know if these are side specific. It's not even going through to the other side. Son of a beeswax. Oh, let's see. This is always Always oh, grief. Always oh, grief. This one is not tapered because I lost it. Hmm. I flip it around, maybe it goes the other way. Yeah, that one goes in. I put on my extra eyes. And I guess maybe these are specific to the uh, to where they came from. Oh yeah. Whoops. That one all the way through. This one doesn't want to go all the way through. I don't know why. Maybe I'll swap it. Chris, I can't see. That one went through. Mm, let's see if this one goes through. If it doesn't go through, screw it. I'm not gonna waste my time. I can't see it. I have to turn it this way. No, it just doesn't go through the hole. just doesn't even go through the hole. 
Yeah, screw it. It's not going any place. All the others went through. I don't know why that one has to give me grief. Anyway, so... If I swap the movement, uh, I was going to steal the... Uh, whatchamacallit this piece oh, I can't get this back in I don't want to leave it loose because it's going to fall on the floor and I'll lose it uh, this piece I forget what they call this Yeah, and this movement, when I looked at it uh, on eBay, I could tell this thing was bent to one side too much, so maybe that's why they couldn't keep it running. That's what I'm hoping. So, uh, i got to put the hands on. But uh, how much time? Oh, 16 minutes, maybe I can. i got to put the hands on, and then I have to put these chains in, and then uh, I'm going to... Assemble the clock and see if it works. Should I put the hands on? I might as well. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You know, I don't remember what time it's at. Damn it. I can't put the hands on. Because I don't know what hour it's going to chime at. So, I guess that's it for now. I'm going to put this all back together and hopefully it will run so I don't know what else to say, I gotta put the chains back on and then uh, I'll let you know if it works or not hope this was educational and entertaining it was for me thank you <laughs>